This will be our last question. Hello, I'm Hi, hello. Josh Ferguson from the Ross School of Business. Um, my question is more so back to the getting more judges to consider more context. And I'm interested in hearing what role do you think diversity plays in, in that, getting people with different backgrounds, different identities to be a part of our criminal justice system? And then how do we improve that pipeline for people to actually have the opportunity to be in your seat? Um, I, I think diversity is very, very valuable. And in my personal experience, here's why. Because I have been talking about the justice system to anybody who will listen for years. But after George Floyd, some people listen to me at all and some people listen to me differently as a black female judge. Mm -hmm. um, not only as to the criminal justice system, but also to racism. Mm -hmm. um, because there were a lot of people that, again, thought racism only happens to poor black people. And that is not that is not the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the stories that um, Dean Watkins Hayes is alluding to was when I first took the bench and my my chamber mate that called never never to my face, of course, but that called me a nappy headed girl to ev everybody. Mm. So even in educating people that racism sees no class. Um, I think is effective, but also, you know, I think that even though I had been talking about it, like someone like me has a special place because I can come here and I can tell you um, actually what happens in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think um, diverse judges are very, 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 very important. And how do we build that pipeline? Well, you particularly, know, and let me just interject, particularly when, when, when folks of color have had such a fraught relationship to the criminal justice system, mm -hmm. how do we, like we had FBI Director Christopher Ray here and we had a career discussion mm -hmm. for people who were interested in, in the FBI and it, it, you know, one of the thoughts that I had was how, how do we diversify the pipeline if there's been fraught relationships, either individual who have experienced it or a historical legacy of a fraught relationship with an FBI or with law enforcement or with, you know, immigration enforcement, Office of Homeland Security, et cetera, all of these agencies that have been involved in policing. How do we think about diversifying that pipeline? How do we do that? How do um, we get I think attracted? that we have to remember, you know, when we look throughout history, mm -hmm. um, in the, say, for example, in the civil rights movement, movement we needed Martin and Malcolm. Mm -hmm. um, and so you, if you want to create change, you need change with, you know, outside the system, mm -hmm. but it also is helpful to have change inside the system. Mm -hmm. um, and so that not only comes into play with black judges or, you know, diverse judges, period, of any color, mm -hmm. um, but it also comes into play because you also see black attorneys not wanting to go into prosecutor's offices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but like if I could show you, and I'm out of time so I can't, mm -hmm. but if I could show you all the points throughout the life of a case that a prosecutor um, is making decisions, because the prosecutor is seeing a case a lot of times before even a judge is or before even a public defender is. And so, for example, you have to have diverse people in prosecutors' offices presenting information to the grand jury. Mm -hmm. Because the grand jury is the one that decides what someone is going to be charged with. And then when you get down the line to trials and plea bargaining and stuff, the starting point, and I'm talking about this because <coughs> you said you're from the business school, mm -hmm. but the starting point for the negotiation comes back to what happened in the grand jury and the indictment. You see what I'm saying? So if someone is mm -hmm. over indicted, their negotiation point is not where it should be when you start talking about plea bargains and mm -hmm. trials and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to, again, remember, we needed Martin and Malcolm. Mm -hmm. um, and so that lends to you also need people inside the system. Mm -hmm. I want to